Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this cute little goat that I made for my crochet farm blanket. I'll have all the information down below as well as the materials list and the written pattern. To start we're going to make a magic ring, chain up two, and we're going to make ten half double crochets into the ring. Two, three, nine and ten once those are complete we're going to pull this little tail end tight to close up the ring and we are going to join to the first half double crochet so the first uh, chain two in the round will not count as a stitch okay for round two we're going to chain up two and in this round we are going to make two half double crochets in each stitch around So there was two half double crochets in that one stitch. So essentially we are increasing in every stitch around to make our circle bigger. So go ahead and keep making two half double crochets in each stitch around. I'm going to finish off camera and then I will meet you back here. Here I am at the end of round two. I'm going to join to that first half double crochet. Again, that chain two in the beginning won't count as a stitch. So our first round will have 10 stitches. Our second round will have 20 stitches. For round three, chain up two. And then we are going to increase in every other stitch around to make our circle larger. So in the first stitch, we will make two half double crochets. In the second stitch, just one half double crochet and we are going to follow that pattern all the way around so two half double crochets in one stitch and then one half double crochet into the next stitch so go ahead and continue that pattern all the way around. I'm going to finish up round three off camera. You can pause here and I'll meet you back here at the end of round three. At the end of round three, go ahead and join to the first half double crochet. In round three, you should have 30 stitches total in the round. So for round four, this is our last round uh, for the head. Chain up two. And we are going to make two half double crochets in the first stitch. And then we are going to make a half double crochet into the next two stitches. There's one in one stitch and two in the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that pattern two more times. So increase, half double, half double. So increase, half double crochet, and half double crochet. So there we repeated it once and we need to repeat it once more. So increase, which is two half double crochets in the same stitch. And then half double crochet. And half double crochet. Okay. 
So you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 stitches so far in the round. Next, we are going to do um, the same pattern but in single crochets. So two single crochets in one stitch and then single crochet, single crochet. And then we're going to repeat that pattern four more times. So single crochet two times in one stitch, single crochet, single crochet. We repeated it once, two single crochets in one stitch, and then single crochet single crochet. There we repeated it twice. Two single crochets in one stitch. And then single crochet, single crochet. There we repeat it three times. Uh, one last final time. Two single crochets in one stitch. And then single crochet and single crochet. So at this point you will have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches left uh, in the round. And we are going to go back um, repeating that pattern in half double crochets. So two half double crochets in one stitch. and then half double crochet and half double crochet and repeat it one more time so half two half double crochets in one stitch and then half double crochet and half double crochet and then join to the first half double crochet and fasten off. Uh, leave a bit of a tail because you will use this tail to sew onto your uh, crochet piece. And there is the head. Uh, you will notice where the single crochets are. Um, it comes down at a point. Um, this will be where the nose is. So you can kind of stretch it out a little bit um, so you can get that defined uh, nose a little more. Okay, next we are going to work on the horns so I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab some brown yarn and then I'll meet you back here so for the horns I'm gonna attach the brown yarn um, three spaces away from where we fastened off so one two three and then I'm gonna attach in that next stitch chain up one and then I'm gonna make three single crochets one, two, three. Chain one, turn your work. We are going to decrease over the first two stitches. So single crocheting two together, insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert your hook in the second stitch, pull up a loop, you'll have one, two, three loops on your hook. Yarn over it and pull through all three and we are going to make one single crochet in that last stitch. Chain one, turn your work, and then we are going to decrease again. Um, we should have only two stitches left. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert your hook, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three, and then here we can fasten off. And then we are going to do the same thing uh, for the second horn. We are going to leave three spaces uh, between. So one, two, three, attach here. So we have three spaces in between our horns. Attach the brown. And again, we are going to do the same thing 
uh, for this first one. So three single crochets. One, two, three. Chain one, turn our work. Uh, decrease over the first two. And then single crochet in that last stitch. Chain one, turn your work. And then decrease again over the last two stitches. And then fasten off. Next, we are going to do the ears. So I'm going to grab uh, this tan color again and I will meet you back here. So for the ears, we're gonna start with just a slip knot. And then we are going to chain up six. Three, four, five, and six. In the second chain from the hook, we're gonna make a single crochet. In the next stitch, we're gonna make a half double crochet. In the next stitch, we're gonna make a double crochet. In the next stitch, we're gonna make a half double crochet. And then in the last and final stitch, we're gonna make a single crochet and go ahead and fasten off. I'll leave a bit of a tail because we will be sewing this onto the head. So you will wanna make two of these. So we'll want two ears for the goat and then we'll sew them right uh, underneath the horns when they're finished. Next, we're gonna work on the face. So we're gonna want six millimeter safety eyes along with the backings. So you just want to stick them in on the face uh, where you think it looks good. We will have the nose at the very tip um, at the bottom. So I'm gonna try to put them about halfway onto the face. And uh, normally I would put the backings on, but this is just a sample. So grab some brown yarn and a tapestry needle, just about a foot of uh, yarn. We are going to sew on the nose. So I'm gonna find the center of the bottom and I'm gonna sew one line up, um, kind of that line beneath uh, the nose of the goat and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a horizontal line to make the nose. I'm gonna go over it twice. And then I'm gonna flip it around and I'm just gonna tie it um, in the back. No one's gonna see um, the ends back there so I'm just gonna tie it. And then I'm also gonna cut it as close as I can. And that is it. Once you have the face uh, complete, you can sew those ears on. And this is what it looks like with the ears on. I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching.